right guys so today we're going to be reviewing this new range finder it's called the melissi golf range finder and i'm going to give it an unboxing have a look and see what's going on so let's crack on all right so the interesting thing is it says it can be used for a few different things which i suppose it's a range finder so that's obvious um it's used for golf hunting race watching uh, forestry um, and a few of those things so let's open this up and, and have a look uh, what's inside okay so it's a uh, very nice packaging i'm gonna get these few bits out uh, it's very similar to the bushnell packaging and actually it's um almost identical so let's grab a bushnell okay so this is the melissi golf one and uh here we have a bushnell this one's a bit older it's been used however very similar and actually this one's a bit slightly better quality i think uh this one wears a bit quicker so first are uh, very good and very similar okay so let's open this up it has a, a nice zip here which is really great a little clip on the back uh, that's also really cool uh, as well as their logo on the front which is great so let's open this up it actually has a battery in here which is really helpful as they don't always come with batteries so as you can see it's fresh out the packet um just find where this goes in that's great somewhere to go in straight away Okay, so we've got it opened up. I have got the battery in. It was really easy actually to, to get the battery in. It's got a little slider here. Uh, you just slide that, it opens up. Also, rechargeable batteries. How good is that? So that's really interesting. That's really good. It has a nice USB, USB port there. So um, again, that's really good. Let's have a look at here uh, what we've got. Uh, so obviously you've got the charger. That's gonna be useful. Gonna need to charge it. Comes with a nice cloth. Important to keep these clean. Uh, keep the, the optical zoom part very clean um, and then we just have a thank you for choosing Melissi Golf and has their socials on the back uh, we will zoom in on them um, and then here it says a pass so uh, that's actually good it's an inspector pass to show that I suppose the the range line is suitable for on course use so we're going to take our first look down this and uh, see what it looks like obviously I use the Bushnell a lot um, however, it's going to be interesting to see what this looks like, so let's have a look. Okay, that's really clear. I've got to twist it a bit uh, to make it suit my eye a bit better. But that is super, super clear. It's, it's clear as day. It's, it's, it's almost better than the Bushnell. Um, it be interesting the yardage we get once we put this to the test. However, I have nothing to complain about. Okay, now, so I'm going to come in and, and show you something a bit closer, which I didn't realise uh, they have on this. There's a slope reading on here. So if I just flick that there, I have slope and I'm getting the hill, getting the upslope and getting the playing yardage, which is really cool and really unexpected. This is thoroughly surprising me so far in maybe going on the bag. Okay, so having a further look around this, which I am so far really excited by, I, I think surprised as well, just how good it is, how neat it is, how great the packaging is. Um, it has a mode button here, uh, which I'm gonna show you. And that allows me to flick through the modes. I mean, we're gonna have a look through this instruction, the instruction manual here in, and see the different modes. <laughs> so the biggest thing so far is it's so easy to use it just i mean the charging just slip it opens up you're not twisting around on the golf course which i'm always doing trying to get the battery and get it out i mean it's just the slip and slide and you know the charge is rechargeable it's got a nice slick usb i just flick that open charge it stick it back in i think to get the optical i was has a plus and a minus here so i just kind of i was looking and getting it to suit my eye that was again super easy that was displayed really obviously for me and as you saw i just picked it up and adjusted it and i was ready to go and you know this is a really good range finder it's something that it's, it seems like an obvious thing to use although you obviously are big brands and your things you trust in the bushnells this is it's been a it's been a spanner in the works i mean I think this could be my new rangefinder. 
So now coming on to the front, uh, which I'm sure you guys have been seeing, I've just noticed it, it has a really cool design around the front. Obviously they're sticking with the blue. Um, it has a nice gray, almost it looks carbon fiber. It feels almost like a rubber. I think it is rubber. So um, that's cool. It has a nice grip on the bottom. So I suppose you, you get a nice grip. It's not gonna slip down your hands. And um, yeah, really impressed. I mean, so far, the Bushnell itself is really great. How it looks, how the features on it are amazing. Um, just now, got to put it to the test. So before we do that, I'm just gonna compare it to the Bushnell. Uh, it's only right you compare it to what I'm using. Um, I mean, you put these side by side, they look different. I mean, the the charging on this is definitely harder to get in. So use the charger on here got to get in there really twist it i mean i don't know what the way i'm twisting um and then i've got to get it out that way for on this it's a slip and slick and slide and much quicker i know when i'm changing quicker just a flick and a flick uh this doesn't have slope which was interesting this does have the slope so where do we go with that it's got more on this one i know these can come with the slope uh, this doesn't have any modes on it though it just has the on button you go here it has the on button and it also has the mode so it gives gives me the option to have that different different kind of display and slope shows it quite clearly on here i do look into this a bit further and then i find yards or meters uh, however to me that's a bit harder to see and a bit more interesting don't get me wrong this is a fantastic bushnell but for a fraction of the price this could be a spanner in the works moving on to the inner things as we know the bushnells they're magnetic however you think that's where it throws you but these are magnetic too now here's the, the truth and where it will all come out does this work as well as this works and there's only one way to do it Let's test it. We have a pin. I recommend 200 odd yards out. I know this gives me the right yardage. Um, it's giving me the yardage right now. 203 is the yardage I'm getting on here. Let's just drop that down there. Don't want to throw that too hard. I do use that one. However, maybe using this. This one says 203 with a bit of slope. So it's about three yard slope. So playing 206. So it's Give me the same yardage. So I'm paying more money for the same thing with slightly less information, but this does the same. Okay, so I think we've come to the conclusion the official Bushnell is a great Bushnell. However, the Melissi Golf Bushnell is also very good and could be a spanner in the works if you don't want to pay for that premium golf bushnell that's very expensive and you want something a bit cheaper that does the exact same thing this could be the one okay, so the only thing left to do is go and put these two to the test yes this has slopes so it'll be interesting to see how that reacts however it's still going to give me the flat yardage and the flat yardage so that's what we're going to be looking at in this video uh, and let's see how it reacts i'm going to look at some down slopes up slopes see see how the, the bushnell goes and the laser goes It'd be great to see it on not such a clear day, so maybe we'll come back another day as well uh, when it's a bit cloudier and see how that performs.